Hey guys, it's uh, Jimmy from uh, Jimmy's Hobby Zone. I made that up in my spray car. Uh, today is my inbox review for the 1350 scale uh, German submarine type 7. Alright, uh, I have a plan that basically what I'm going to end up doing with this is I'm going to try to re replicate a scene that a paint that someone painted of the Bismarck passing a Type 7 submarine. So, <clears throat> so this is the Ravel Type 7 1350 scale. Uh, I'm opening it up for the second time because I haven't do the, my own inspection of it first. Um, this is also my very my second inbox review. My first one I have to redo because uh, I thought it was really bad. But we go let's open this up all right so there's really not that many parts to it it's a very simple small submarine to do um, comes with really nice instructions and it comes with the regular decal now the box art is really nice I really like the box art pretty much uh, it's a submarine being attacked by a British I forgot what the British called it but it's 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 their B, it's our B-24 Liberator, but the British set it up for uh, Maritime. So, but yeah, there's the box. Art, really nice box art. Actually, I really like the box, too. I mean, Ravel of Germany is really coming out with better boxes, better, uh, excuse me, I'm kind of sick, too. And they're coming out with better, um, better kits. I remember the old kits that I used to uh, build, um, the ones from, well, let's start with the parts, um, the ones from Illinois, uh, that, the American factory, you know, the, the boxes were just plain boxes, plus also, <coughs> you know, they were easy kits, they were like, uh, level two kits, they were level one kits, and, uh, uh, Ravel of Germany now that they were bought now that the USA section was bought out and went out you know, and bought out by the German company it, it's actually pretty nice the, the kits are getting really um, detailed everything so there we go I'm going to open this up maybe I didn't open it up I must open up the box but never opened up the little parts like I said, excuse me, I'm kind of sick and I'm at work, but, you know, when you're sick, you gotta keep working. Make money, make money, um, keep mama happy, like Frankie Day used to always say all the time, or he still says all the time, and, um, you know, keep the hobby going. You gotta work and live. So, uh, pretty much, here we got, it's a two-piece haul. So, uh, looking at it, it, it it's really nice. Uh, I don't really have that much light here. Let me see if I can turn on the bench light that we have here at work. I don't know if you can still, yeah. All right, you can still see me, that's fine. Now, looking at the hall, the two-piece hall, it's really, it's really detailed on the outside. Um, so, what I'll do is I'll pull out the camera, I should, uh, I should flip the screen, come on, I don't know if that allows you to flip, oh, I lost my case, but that's okay, so, pretty much, you can see here is the hull is very, very detailed. I kind of like it. Um, there's really no, uh, I guess they call them injector pins for when they do the mold. Uh, everything's on the inside of the submarine that you won't see. So if you look carefully, you can see some injector pins. Everything's on the inside, so you're not going to be able to. You're not going to see them when you put the submarine together. So it's a two-piece hull, and then your deck 
your decking is right here. So, and the same thing, the same thing goes for the decking. You can actually see that there's no ejector pins where the, the decking is exposed. But when you flip it, you can see them on the opposite sides. You can see them. Um, so, when, you know, looking at it, it, you know, the hole is very, very nice. I like it very much. Um, this is going to be my first ship, well, my first submarine to get back into building ships. Uh, I have done a the USS Lionfish a long time ago. Uh, I, I do have pictures of it on my Facebook. I kind of wish, uh, wish I had more, uh, more ships. I think I have two, I think I built out of my whole entire life, I think I built three, three ships. I built the Ravel kit of the USS Arizona and the Ravel kit of the USS Lionfish and I think and I think it was Ravel again called the fire uh, the firefighter boat. Firefighter boat came out really nice. Um, I'll probably never, I'll probably won't ever try selling that one. I have other models that I'm thinking about that um, I've been selling my 148 scale planes, but also I've been uh, debating if I want to sell my USS Lionfish. <coughs> so, but. Back to the bin box review. Now, looking at the detail of the um, the top section, the railing. The railing looks really nice. It's all plastic railing. I don't know. I might try to see if I can find the photo edge of this kit for this kit and do all photo edge uh, fencing uh, railing instead of this plastic railing. We'll go from there. Uh, the tower that um i forgot what they called it man i'm drawing a huge blank on this whole entire thing but you can see that there's really not that many parts to the kit so it, it's going to make it very simple to build and then after that it's just going to be painting weathering it and then preparing it for when i get the bismarck so and then build the Bismarck and then build the diorama for the painting that I'm going to try to replicate. But I mean the kit the kit's very nice. I mean I got to say I have never seen so much detail on even the tiny parts. So but that's it. That that's pretty much it. This is 1 2 3 4 5 screws. You know, it was remanufactured in 2009, so it's a 2009 kit, so that, that you know, Ravel's doing a really good with it. Um, it really doesn't look like there's that many parts. So, I, I'm going to say that this is going to be a really easy build to, put, to build. So, let me get back to here. Uh, let's see, make sure. Back there. I'm, I'm doing this off my cell phone, so, well, my spare cell phone. But those are the parts. The parts are really great. I like it. Hopefully, I can get this on YouTube. Hopefully. If not, uh, it'll be just on my Instagram page and my Facebook. So, hopefully, everything will work out. Now, the decals are pretty self pretty simple. I mean, there's only really, what, one, two, three. There's only really four decals that I'm going to end up using out of this whole entire thing is the German flag that I have to find out where the swastikas are because I I realize in the end that obviously this is came from Germany and it's illegal to have the swastika. So I have to see if I can find the German flag or maybe if I have a very, very fine, fine um, permanent marker, I could probably mark it nicely to make it look like it's there. But, and there's, but pretty much it's going to be just these two here and these two here that are going to go on the ship um the other ones uh, they, they're, they only go on the, the the small stand that's right here see that the stand that stand right there so i'm not going to really use those top two <coughs> they're they're really nice uh decals are from 2018 they are manufactured in 2018 and in Italy. Italy makes some really good uh, um, 
decals. I have seen them. I have used them on multiple other models. So I got to say, Italy does make manufacture some really nice decals. They don't really feel that thick. They feel kind of thin, so that's plus. So they'll be easy to apply. Um, obviously, they are always got the safety, safety advice paperwork. That's great that they always do that. Let me uh, put that there. And then, last but not least, the instructions. The instructions is, are is a very good um, uh, quality paper, quality instructions. Everything's in color, so it's it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm, seriously, I, I never really seen that many photos. You know, look, I mean, even uh, the painting, uh, the painting of uh, U one zero zero four and what was the other one? And U nine eight eight. 998 you know these are some really good these are some really good uh, <coughs> some really good oh on the fly I don't know why it's in there um, some really good instructions uh, it gives you what the uh, um, letters are for paint paint numbers and what they look like they give they also give you the So, I mean, there's some really good, some really good stuff here. Um, you got paint charts, percentage, percentages when you got to do two different colors, yellow, white, yellow, black. Let's see if I can smash this fly. Did I get it? No, I did not get the fly. Oh, maybe I did. Yeah, I did. I got it. Yeah, fly dead. A really annoying fly. All right, and then instructions are great. I mean, it's you got the two-piece hull. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to do this two-piece hull put together, and then it says put it on that. I'll probably put it on that just so it keeps it stable and everything, and then I can move everything around while I'm painting it and trying to put the photo edge on it. I mean, the instructions are just absolutely gorgeous. I have never seen instructions like this before. So usually everything is always in black and white or, yeah, black and white. I mean, it's step by step. There's only 17 steps throughout the whole entire thing of building it. And then you have your uh, your submarines, U-998, which uh, was laid down in, let's see if I can zoom in on this. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, U-998 was laid down in December 5th, 1942 in Hamburg and commissioned in October 7th, of 1943. Uh, it looks like, uh, it had, uh, and its last CO, uh, I don't know what that meant, but, uh, it was, uh, October 7th, of 1943 to June 27th, of 1944, where it was damaged by depth charges of two British Mosquito aircraft. And then it was broken down in, on June 16th, 1944. Uh, that's kind of stinks. That's weird. Uh, so that was, uh, that's U-998. And then U-1004. Was laid down in January 15th, 1943. Commissioned in December 16th, 1943. And then it, it was on the sea. It was in the sea from June, January 1945 to May of 1945. So, wow, it was in uh, service for a long time. But it was sunk... On December 1st, 1945. So, by a oh wait, uh, we don't know what it sunk, what, who sunk it, but it did sink two patrol, two patrols. It sunk a British ship, and it sunk a Canadian uh, Corvette. So, so yeah. Um,
obviously I'm not going to do these two. I'm not going to do any of these. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can find one that was it, that a Type 7 that was within the... See if the I'm going to see when the Type 7s came out. And I'm going to actually see if I can find the decals for one that was uh, within the year uh, before the Bismarck was sunk. So once, once I get that, once I get the decals for that, I'll be able to decal this up and go from there. Because, I mean, you can't use ones that are from 1943 when the Bismarck sunk in 1940, was sunk in 1941. So, but, uh, yeah, uh, that's my inbox review for the Revell 1350 scale of the Type 7 C-41 German submarine. Uh, it was great. It's a great, uh, great kit. I'm going to like it when I start building it. Don't know when I'm going to build it. Hopefully, sometime soon, I'll be able to build it, and then I'll be able to make a video of it while I'm trying to do it, and then I just got to edit it, and and everything so guys i'm already at 16 minutes on this so i'm going to try to end it as quick as possible if you guys can subscribe to my youtube page when this comes up um find me on uh, instagram it's uh james's um hobby zone on instagram i'll probably i'll see if i can put a link at the bottom for uh for anyone that's on if this video gets on YouTube, so hopefully it does, uh, and, uh, yeah, follow me on my next adventure, alright, see you later guys, good seeing y'all.